What up YouTube, Moose coming at you once again. Um, I know it's been a long, long while since I've done any videos. Um, besides the unboxing videos, I haven't neglected y'all. Been busy, I've kind of been in, in and out of sickness and so on and so forth. Um, lacking some motivation, been building a new PC for playing some games that I hope to be able to stream and show you guys one of these days. But I thought I'd stop in real quick and at least say what's up and kind of give you a real quick and dirty look at my model space, what I've been working on because I feel like I owe it to you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get started I guess. Alright, so like I said, I haven't ignored y'all, just been busy with life, kind of dealing with, you know, the winter blues and everything like that. Um, I have been working on, uh, I don't know if you guys might be familiar with, they're called diamond art paintings. I've done a few of them in the past. They got the little plastic beads that you fit in the, the grid and whatnot. So the biggest reason I haven't been doing any model stuff is because I've been working on a giant one of those. It's not done. I wish I could show you all. It's really cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's a it's a Russian fighter. I think it's an Su-27. Don't take me for that because I'm not good at identifying my Russian airplanes. But that's been taking up a lot of my space, a lot of my time trying to get that done. Um, but I figured I would show you all real quick my messy messy desk um so let me grab this and spin y'all around so as you can see my desk is a mess um that's my actual modeling desk i got paint stored down underneath it and stuff like that you can't really see it it's up there but right now on my desk if i could learn how to point the camera properly let me let me readjust myself. How's that sound? All right, so like I said, my desk is an absolute mess. Uh, right now things are thrown over here that are normally over there because I was unboxing that. You'll see that before too long, I imagine. Um, but as you can see, so I've got a little, it's a Hasegawa, it's a Kawasaki T4, it's the Japanese, the Blue Impulse um, from their 2015 season. It was actually a 172nd kit, there was two of them in the box, so I'm building the pair of those right now. That one's there, the other one's over yonder. Um, you can see the Ravel Monogram Pro Modeler, I think it's Monogram. Uh, P61 sitting there. That's about done. This side of the aircraft is actually decaled. The other side needs finished. I kind of went my own route because their instructions just absolutely lacked any detail on what paint scheme got what decals and colors and stuff like that. Like I know that the nose cone of it's actually supposed to be black for the version I did, but I decided I wanted to do something not black, so we did it white like one of the other paint schemes called for. Um, you can see sitting on the back of the P61 actually at the moment is a little egg plane from Hasegawa. It's a zero. That one just needs painted up. Um, I did one last year or the year before I think for a friend and so this one I want to do, there was two paint color options. I think this one's going to end up being like a gray instead of the green. So again, messy, messy desk. <laughs> and over here, well, there's our decal sheet for those T4s. Um, been working on, I've had this uh, Tamiya A10 in my stash for way too long now. It was probably one of the first models I bought when I got back into the hobby. Um, decided I wanted to get this one out and get building. So. I've actually got an Edward PE set for that and there's a lot of it already on there. It looks really, really cool. I can't wait to actually show you guys some more on that one as well as the final photos and whatnot of that. And I actually have a aftermarket decal set for that. I live close to an air reserve base where the A-10s operate out of and I got decals to 
model it after that. So then we can see down here, again, there's the, the other impulse aircraft and just a hodgepodge. Up there we can see the MRAP. I abandoned it. I just haven't had the time to finish painting things to keep carrying on that. And then in that little box up there for the C-17 is actually sitting a few more egg planes. There's like an F-22, an F-15, I believe an F-35. But the C-17 is done. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Let me take y'all off the tripod here for a second. But I actually do some model rocketry as well. And recently finished up this one. It's a bull pup, they call it. Um, after I decaled it, I realized it should have been white, not gray. So we'll hope to see that. And in the background there is finally that BMR Phantom that I did. Um, Y'all have to check my website for final photos of those. I didn't do a video of them. I just kind of wanted them off my desk, but. So yeah, that was just a real quick overview showing you what I've been up to. Like I said, I haven't forgot y'all. Um, I appreciate seeing everybody's comments on these unboxing videos. I'm actually enjoying doing them. I'm kind of working my way through my stash of what I've got. Some of them are kind of in state of progress, so I don't want to unbox those ones, of course. But I'm enjoying unboxing them, showing you guys what's in those boxes, and um, getting your feedback. Um, my buddy Mondo, nickname for him, that to me a motorcycle that I unboxed um, this past Wednesday was sent to me by him and I'm looking forward to digging into that one. I've got a GoPro now, so with a little tripod. Um, right here. And I'm hoping to start capturing footage of me actually building the models. I think this will be able to sit down on my desk, giving me that view down on it without being in my way too much. So I wanna start doing some build videos. I've been playing with some video editing software to try and up the production value a bit for y'all learn some things, but um, I see we're closing in on 200 subscribers. I think it's it's been pretty cool. I didn't think I'd have anybody subscribe beyond family members, so I appreciate every single one of you who stops by, and watches my videos, and likes, and everything like that. Um, I guess that's really all I have for you now. So like I said, um, I guess one last thing I just realized, uh, come back real quick. So I've been working on my website a lot as well lately. Um, you know, friends that know me know that I enjoy one of my passions. I don't do it as a job, but it is building websites, designing them and everything like that. But um, all of my model content has been migrated to my new website finally. And it's not complete, but you can actually see the images. I've got reviews that I'm putting up on my blog. Ugh, excuse me. And so I wanna plug my website. Um, I'll have the link down in the description as usual, but it is um, ChristopherLeeMiller.me. Um, unfortunately, the problem with having such a common name is I can't get anything cool as far as names. Uh, I could do something, but it's also supposed to be professional because one day I'd like to do this again for a living for a company. But I hope y'all go check that out. Like I said, description will be down below check out the models, check out reviews, um, hoping to have comment section in the models and stuff. Hopefully by the time you all watch this video even, it's something I'm working on. Because I'd like to have y'all's feedback on models, critiques, um, whatever, you know, everything is there, so go check it out. You know, as I always say, like, comment, subscribe. I read every comment. I might not reply to them all, of course. You know, sometimes I just have a real quick second to pull up my phone and I can see it. But I do appreciate everybody. Um, I guess I'll see you all next time. Have a good one. Moose out.